if I'm going to commit myself to somebody else, like, I expect them to maybe kind of do the same. And as of lately, it seems like the only commitment that Matt has made has been to himself. I feel like I've tried everything that I possibly can to make it work. And for whatever reason, it's just not working. Essentially, what's happening is Matt and I are ending. I'm leaving. Jesus Christ, dude. I feel like one day you woke up and decided that I was a piece of that wasn't worth any of your time. That's what I feel like. So now I'm going to stop being sad about it because there's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry that I couldn't give you the things that you wanted. I'm sorry. But I, what I'm not going to do is sit here and continue to feel bad for it because I gave you every thing that I had. Sorry you don't care. Obviously, Matt and I are no longer together. You know, he took off and has been with someone else, living with them and everything. It's still really, really hard for me, you know? He is a different person than the person I met originally. Whoever he is right now is not who I know. I was informed that just a couple of days ago, he was picked up again for possession. I got, I got arrested in December uh, for a possession of a stolen motor vehicle. It's not innocent until proven guilty. It's guilty until proven innocent around here. I don't even know like, if it's a mean thing to say or I, he can be mad at me for the rest of his life for saying it. But honestly, I'm glad that he got picked up. Uh, with my new charges added on, my range is uh, 87 to 116 months. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at 10 years right now. He's better off in jail. Otherwise, it's one one more car accident away from not only taking his life, but somebody else's. You, you can't just run around doing the things that he's doing with no repercussions. And he obviously can't figure out how to hack real life without meth. My drug of choice is meth. When Matt got out of prison, I thought that he was going to sweep me off my feet. The fairy tale was going to get even better when he got out of prison. I feel like right now, the honeymoon's over. Did you want to do anything today, or are you just sitting in the sun? You have something in mind? I'm just trying to figure you out. This is it. Mm. Enjoy my time out. How many of those are you planning on having? I have a couple more. I've got mad love for the guy, but like, he's sick. It hurts my heart to see him, you know? It, it hurts my heart to see his condition. There's been immense weight taken off my shoulders since we broke up. You know, I'm not chasing him around, trying to keep him from, oh, I need to steal this car or borrow this car or whatever, you know? Um, once he really, really started getting high, it was like chasing a wild toddler around without a diaper. That wouldn't stop all over the place. So the reason I go out running wild and doing all this crazy because I just wasn't satisfied with nothing and content with just chilling. But you know, ever since I've been with Bree, I've just been content to hang out and do nothing really. Matt and Caitlin have a connection that if they weren't together, I think they would both be struggling. Although Matt has never had a girlfriend, so Honestly, I worry. I don't think she does know him well enough yet. Matt has a short temper, a short fuse. He gets anxiety and frustrated very easily. So I am actually very nervous for Caitlin because I'm scared to death that Matt will relapse and he will take off. That's one of my biggest fears. It's something he has done every single time. I know it's a bad influence on me, but myself, man. I've not anyone ever influenced me to do anything. I just, you know, but, um, if I don't want to do something, I'm not going to do it. If I want to do it, I'm going to do it. I don't want to get back together, Matt. I don't. Like, he's so skinny right now, I don't even want to see him naked. It's not attractive. None of it is attractive. Meth is sick. She acted like a five-year-old most of the time. My family members encouraged me to leave her. Check it out, I've been, I'm way over it. It don't matter how clean I was, and I would not want to get with her. And I hope she finds someone that does her thing, and whatever it is she does, I don't know. I don't care. I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm moved on. I think my theory on dating right now is I don't really want to put my eggs into any basket. They're fine in mine. And if I'm going to commit myself or actually date anyone. It's got to be someone that's a legitimate person. It's going to go somewhere. Otherwise, we can have random sleepovers on a Tuesday and you can go home. I don't even want to cuddle afterwards. But I'm serious. Life is serious. Don't f 
f with me and I won't f with you. You know? Wonder what happened to your favorite love after lockup couples? You annihilated my heart. Now, find out if there's life after lockup. I can't believe he did this to us. All new episode Friday at 9 on WeTV and the WeTV app.